Good evening and thanks for joining us. It's a massive distance, 5,960 miles. That's how far one couple is from their home in Garden City. Jill and Campbell boarded a Norwegian cruise March 20th. A week later, they and seven other passengers were left stranded on the African island nation of Seo Tome. And of course, they also, after their ship actually left without them. After numerous attempts of trying to get a hold of Norwegian, the group is now scrambling to figure out exactly how to get back on that ship and get home. ABC 15's Joel Vasquez spoke with a couple about the situation. So what are they doing now, Joel? Jen, Jill and Jay Campbell are frequent Norwegian Cruise Line passengers. In fact, they tell me that they've already traveled with them three times this year. However, on Wednesday, their vacation took a turn for the worse when they were on a tour. Jill and Jay Campbell were on what was supposed to be a memorable cruise, and now it is for all the wrong reasons. We have never had an experience like this before. On Wednesday, the Campbells and six other people were on a tour in Soatome and Principe, a small island off of Western Africa, but the tour is longer than expected. We were like, uh, our time is getting really short, and they were like, no problem, we can get you back within an hour. They say the tour operator had contacted the captain to let them know that the eight passengers were going to be late, but they were on their way. When they arrived to the port, the ship was still anchored, but they say that the captain refused to let them on board. The harbor master tried to call the ship. The captain refused the call. We sent emails to NCL. The NCL customer service, the emergency number, they said, well, the only way for us to get in touch with the ship is to send them emails. They're not responding to our emails. Eventually, the Soa Tome Coast Guard loaded all eight passengers on a boat and took them to the anchored ship. They say that the captain told the Coast Guard to take the passengers back to the island. The captain could have made an easy decision to turn one of the tinker boats back, pick us up, safely load us, and then go on the way. They had no port of call for the next day. They were simply going to be at sea. The group consists of seven Americans and two Australians, four of which are elderly. One has a heart condition and another is a paraplegic. There's another married couple from Delaware. The wife is pregnant. The group eventually met an 80-year-old woman who got a concussion and lost part of her vision following a cruise line tour. The Campbells say that she was left at the hospital without any money or her belongings, and her emergency contact was never notified by the cruise line. I, you know, I truly believe Sometimes we're put in certain places for a reason, and I believe we were put in this place for the eight-year-old woman that was left alone. God forbid what would have happened to that lady if we were not here. None of the other passengers have their medications or credit cards that are accepted on the island. The Campbells are the only ones with a visa card, and they've paid over $5,000 in food, toiletries, and hotels for the group. And while they're almost 6,000 miles away from home, Jay is just happy to have Jill by his side. This woman's been a saint. I don't know where the whole group would be without her strength, guidance, and compassion for others. I'm, I'm honored and blessed that I have the smartest woman in the world next to me. Now, they have received help from the U.S. Embassy in Angola, and on Sunday, the group is flying to the Gambia. However, they can only get on the ship if the cruise line approves their request. The Campbells say they haven't heard back at all. But we've also have reached out to the Norwegian cruise line about the incident, and they have not responded. Jen? Well, thank you. I know you'll continue to keep in touch with them and keep a check on them. The Campbells are grateful for the help that they have received from the people of Seo Tome so far. They just ask for prayers that they are able to get home.